Hi boys and girls and welcome to your very first ever science video. So this week we will be talking all about sound. Let's take a look at our target and find out what we'll be learning today. So our target says I can define sound and explain how it is made by watching a video. Well first we need to talk about what the word define means and when you define something you just tell the meaning of it. So we're going to tell the meaning of the word sound. Now you might have heard the word sound before. I'm pretty sure we all have, but a sound is just something that you hear. So can you think for a second, what is a very loud sound that you may have heard? The sirens on a fire truck, our fire alarm at school, or maybe if your dad watches the TV super loud, that's what you might be thinking of. Can you think of a quiet sound? If you thought of Mrs. Haynes chiming our mindful bell, that is the first thing that popped into my head. That's a nice, quiet sound. Now, when we explain, it just means to tell about. So we're going to tell the meaning of the word sound and then tell more about how it's made by watching a video now, when we watch a video, make sure you listen with your ears, which means you're hearing the video, your eyes, which means your eyes should be on your screen, your brain, which means you should be thinking and asking yourself some questions when you watch, and your heart, which is always our funny one. But remember, when you listen to something, you want to see if it makes you feel anything. And that feeling usually helps you remember it better. So let's take a look at our video and make sure you're a good listener. Moby, can you please turn that down? What is sound? Sound is something you can hear. Sound is a type of energy, like light or heat. Sound is made when something vibrates or moves back and forth quickly. When you talk, you can feel your vocal cords vibrate in your throat. When you hit the triangle, the metal vibrates and pushes the air around it back and forth. This creates sound waves. Yeah, it's kind of like that. When you throw something into a pond, it pushes the water to create little waves. The way the waves move across the water is kind of like how sound waves travel through the air except you can't see the sound waves. When you pluck a string on your banjo, it vibrates and makes the air around it vibrate. The vibrations travel through the air in waves. When the waves reach our ears, they make our eardrums vibrate. Volume describes how loud or soft a sound is. Those symbols are definitely loud. A jackhammer, a car horn, and a siren are loud too. The waves of loud sounds have a lot of energy and they can travel pretty far. That's why you can hear the school bell, even if you're not near it. The waves of softer sounds have less energy, so they usually don't travel as far. A squeaking mouse, a ticking watch, and a whisper are pretty quiet, so you've got to be up close to hear them. Sounds can be soft or loud, but they can also be high or low. What is pitch? Pitch describes how high or low a sound is. When you play a high note, 
the string vibrates really quickly. When you play a low note, the string vibrates slower. Some sounds can have low pitch, but also be loud. How does sound move? Sound can travel through air. It can also move through solids and through liquids. Low pitch sounds travel really well, even in the ocean. A whale can make sounds to communicate with other whales that are thousands of miles away. Sound also bounces off things. Moby, Moby. An echo happens when sound bounces off something and comes back to where it came from. Bats make sounds and their echoes help them fly around and hunt. Objects can keep some sound waves from reaching your ear. When Mia talks on the phone, she can be pretty loud. But when she closes her door, it gets a lot quieter. The door bounces some of the energy back, but it also absorbs or takes in some of the energy. Even though the door is closed, you can still hear Mia. Some people who work in really loud places use earplugs. Earplugs block a lot of the energy of the sound waves. When I have earmuffs on in the winter, it can be hard to hear. What did you say, Moby? I can't hear you. All right. Nice job listening to our sound video. Now it's your turn. Click next to answer some questions about sound. Great job today.